Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. And today we are going to talk about another interesting topic in Tricentis Tosca. So today I'm going to discuss about how you can add different test step libraries and then how you can uh, basically add different reusable test step blocks inside these libraries, which can be uh, used or reused across different test cases. Now, what is the need for this? So in any test automation framework, you always have different common uh, reusable libraries, right? This increases the reusability factor, which is very important for any framework. And also it becomes easy for us to maintain our test cases because uh, we'll be using this reusable libraries, uh, which can be then changed at only one place rather than changing it everywhere, right? So it saves time. Um, it makes uh, our development more faster right and more efficient so in other frameworks uh, you might have to uh, do some customization or you have to build these reusable libraries right but uh, in tosca it already provides you a future where you can create this test step libraries and uh, if you have already created your test cases you can just uh, convert this test steps into reusable test step blocks which will then be part of the library and then uh, these blocks can be used uh, as a reference in different test cases, right? So this is uh, the flow, how uh, Tosca follows uh, or how Tosca uses the test step libraries, right? Uh, it is part of uh, the test cases section, right? So you can create this test step libraries anywhere. Uh, and these uh, libraries could be uh, reused across different test cases, okay? So uh, to demonstrate this particular feature, I have created a folder called reusable libraries. I have two test cases. They are pretty similar uh, with very limited uh, functionality just to show you how this works. Uh, so one is login uh, with the valid user, one is login with invalid user. There are just two steps, open URL and login user. The first one is using a valid user and the second one is using an invalid user, okay? Now, if I run them, uh, you will see there's not much difference. Obviously, I could have added a lot more steps after these two steps, okay? But these are the two steps uh, which I feel are common for my application, okay? And that is the reason um, I have, I'm going to use them as reusable test step blocks, okay? So you can see in the first test case, uh, it logged in with a valid user uh, into the website and then you can continue from there. But in case of this invalid user, uh, it will give this message and we can also verify this and then we can continue moving forward with um, whatever test case scenario we have, okay? So these are the two examples where uh, you see there are common steps, right? So the common steps are opening the URL and uh, logging in with a user. So even though the test step uh, data is different, Right, so one is valid, one is invalid, but still this can be handled in just one um, common reusable steps. So this makes a good case for um, using a library instead of having the same steps uh, with different test data and two different test cases, okay? So um, how we can create them? Uh, we can create them inside the same folder, okay? So right click on this. And then you will see a folder uh, with a L sign. And that's what is a test step library, okay? So uh, you can also use the shortcut control N and control L to create this. So click on this and this will create a library here, okay? And inside this library, now I can create a reusable test step block, okay? Or um, I can also, if I have already created my test cases and I have the test steps, okay, I can also uh, convert this into my reusable test step blocks, okay? So how I can do that is um, I can just drag it here, okay? And I can drag these two basically uh, steps and make it a reusable test step blocks, okay? So you can see here, uh, now this has become a reusable test step block. And uh, in the test case, it has now changed uh, into an arrow sign. So which means it is just a reference, okay? 
so it is not the actual step it is a reference to this particular steps okay and uh, now how i can reuse these steps so these reusable test blocks i can basically delete uh, these steps in my second test case and um, now i can just drag these reusable test blocks into my test case okay so you can see uh, these are almost the same reusable test blocks okay but they are not different they are references to the same uh, test blocks and this you can do it across all your test cases so wherever your test cases are using these two uh, steps which is opening the url and uh, logging in the user you can uh, use it uh, anywhere okay any test case you can just pull this uh, references uh, into your test cases and they will run them okay so that solves one of our problem uh, where uh, we are now using two common steps uh, which are part of a library but now you can think uh, these values right these values are still the same so uh, it will basically do the same thing right now it will log in with the same user uh, which is present in this library right but i want it to be more customized so that i can use my own values right i can use the own um, invalid user in the second test case rather than a valid user so that my scenario is um, as per the expectations okay so for that uh, you need to now uh, convert okay this or you need to add business parameters so whatever values you want to parameterize like the username the password or the url okay which can change across different test cases you can basically add business parameters for these okay and to do this uh, you need to click on the reusable tester block and there is an option to create business parameter container okay so we can add that uh, and we can create our business parameters here right um, once you do that now i can add different parameters here as you can see so first parameter would be username and the second parameter would be password so these are the two values which can be parameterized okay in this particular test step block and then in url also i can parameterize the url part so i will do that so i will create a business parameter for url okay you don't need to provide any values or action mode or data type for this business parameters they are just parameters okay and uh, what we need to do is now we need to delete these values okay uh, because we will not be using this uh, values which are static in nature right we'll be using these parameters instead of any particular value so uh, you have to replace them uh, with these parameters okay so let me drag this again so now once you drag these parameters into this test steps right so it will become a pl and then followed by that parameter name so pl means uh, the business parameter so similarly for open url i will remove this value and i will drag this url parameter here okay so now you can see that our reusable test step blocks are actually reusable right because they are not using any static values it can be used across any test case so any particular login test case where it has got these fields um, and you can enter any value from the test case itself okay so um, now our library and usable test step blocks are ready now if i go back to my test case right you will see that the business parameters are already created okay and uh, you will see all the test step values have now been removed from this references you just need to pass a valid url a username and password now you can again uh, configure it more you can put a configuration parameter in your folder and you can use that here rather than putting the directly uh, rather than putting 
the URL directly here, right? Same you can do with username or password. But now you can see that uh, even though I use it in two different test cases, I can enter different values based on my test cases, okay? So it is now actually uh, using some reusable steps uh, which can have their own values in different test cases, okay? So uh, for this particular example, um, let's go to this URL and let's try to put different values here. Okay, so just to complete uh, these two scenarios. So these are the username and password which I'm going to use. So first one is the valid user. Okay. So that's my first test case. And in the second one, I am going to use this logged out user so that it throws an error message. Okay, and then the URL. So a uh, URL is, as you can see, it is same. And as I said, you don't need to enter it directly here. You can create a configuration parameter. Uh, like we have done many times, okay? So create a test configuration parameter for URL and just use that here. Okay, but um, as you can see, now we have got two test cases using uh, reusable test step blocks from a library, but having different values using the business parameters, okay? And now if I run them, they should uh, still run as expected, like we have seen before, there should be no difference. Okay, so that's our first test case. And if I now run my second test case, okay, so it should display this error message, which can be verified, of course. But uh, okay, so that's that's the results we have got. Okay, so. We haven't put any verifications, but uh, the purpose of this particular demo was to show you how you can use a library and the reusable test blocks with business parameters. So a very useful way of uh, reusing your test steps across your test cases. Okay, so this could be used in many complex uh, scenarios where you have got uh, test cases with a number of different test steps. So find out which are the common ones and put it as reusable test step blocks in your libraries. So that's all for this session, but do tune in into our channel. Uh, if you have not subscribed, do subscribe so that you get a notification uh, whenever I come up with more interesting scenarios or interesting features available in Trascent Testoscope.